Hey guys, it's Freeze, and welcome to my first ever showcase of cars I have gotten from Fastlane Classic Cars over the past few years. This is the um, Punzov Roadster Le Mans race car. Um, I talked to the person there, I talked them into a bargain, got it for $5, which is really great. Um, I have used this car a few times, but it's still in pretty decent shape. They won in 1050, and like I said, I got it down to $5 plus tax, which is great. This is my second Punzov um, toy car from Fastlane Classic Cars out in St. Charles, Missouri, which is a really great, um, old, um, play, really great place to find, um, old Hot Wheels Matchbox and other toy cars. I will show my second, well, my first Punzov toy car I got there in a little bit. Next up, we have the, um, Ford Falcon race car from Fastlane Classic Cars. One of my favorites from Fastlane Classic Cars, the Pikes Peak Celica in this lime green with white stripes and the number 23 on the hood. Um, this car in real life has 850 horsepower, by the way, and came out in 1997 or 98, I believe. And it, and the real life version of this car is four-wheel drive, by the way, I think. It's either four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive, not entirely sure. Here it is, the second, well, my first Poonsoff car I got at Fastlane Classic Cars, it, out in St. Charles, Missouri, is the Punzov Esperante GTR1 race car from oh so late 90s and maybe early 2000s. Um, this thing has close to a thousand horse, well, close to 900 horsepower, by the way, from a V8 engine. Next up, we have the Ford Mustang Cobra race car. I think this is from the SCCA um, race cars division. Not entirely sure how much horsepower it has. I know it's a V8. So it has to have probably, I'd say, like six to 800 horsepower, somewhere in that range, most likely, because it is a 90, late 90s race car. Well, mid-late 90s race car. Next up, we have the Mercedes-Benz CLK DTM Hot Wheels car. This is not the race car version. Apparently, it's the road-going version. Um, this has a V8 engine, top speed of about 190 miles per hour. And it's really cool. I have a race car version upstairs, but I can't get to it right now, unfortunately. So, I will make a separate video about that car. On to the next one from Fastlane. Is the um, Maserati MC12, and I have been looking for this thing for a very long time. And I'm so glad I got it at Fastlane Classic Cars, like, I think one or two, two or three years ago. Which is really great. Um, this is my first Maserati MC12 Hot Wheels toy car. If you don't have it, I'd recommend finding it. Like I said, this one was found at Fastlane Classic Cars in St. Charles, Missouri. Um, if you go to antique stores, you might find this one there too. Antique stores or malls or like... Farmer's markets sometimes seem to sell old Hot Wheel cars, which is really cool. The next one is the Hot Wheels Ferrari 333 SP Le Mans race car. This is one of my favorite ones I've gotten from Fastlane. I didn't know that this was a Ferrari until I looked at it carefully, and um, since Hot Wheels doesn't have their Ferrari license anymore, this car in mint condition is going to be a lot of money. Sadly, I've already used it, as you can tell by the tire and wheel wear right there, but besides that, it's a great toy car from Hot Wheels. Too bad they don't make Hot Wheels Ferrari cars today anymore. Next up, we have the Mercedes-Benz um, 500 convertible. I think it's the 500 SL or something like that, Mercedes-Benz convertible. This is a really cool casting, I will say, from Hot Wheels that I also got from Fastlane Classic Cars. Um, it shows it's a um, four-seater, which is really cool. Although, actually, no, it's a two-seater. My bad. It's a two-seater, not a four-seater. <laughs> Sorry for that mistake there. <coughs> um... In case you're wondering why um, this video is going a bit long, it's because there's a lot of toy cars, and um, my allergies are not making me feel really well, so I'm trying to slow down to pronounce things. Um, this is the MG Roadster from Matchbox, also another car I got at Fastlane Classic Cars, really cool in this dark green color. If you don't have it, I'd recommend getting it. This thing is pretty fast on my Hot Wheels 4-lane track and Hot Wheels 6-lane track. Next up... We have one of two of the Pikes Peak Toyota Tacoma Hill Climb cars from Hot Wheels. These have a close to 1,100 horsepower, by the way. Not even from a V6 engine, but like a really high horsepower, like inline 
some inline four six cylinder engine by the way. Next car is the M Ferrari two fifty LM. Really great car from Hot Wheels. Too bad they don't make Hot Wheels Ferrari cars anymore. Great casting from Hot Wheels. And this one was found only at Fastlane Classic Cars. I'm not sure if antique stores or malls will have this one, but if they do, I'd recommend buying it. Next up, we have the Maserati Quattro Porte sedan. This is my first Hot Wheels Maserati Quattro Porte sedan in this cool blue color. Um, I only recall seeing one of it there when I was at Fastlane Classic Cars out in St. Charles, Missouri. But um, pretty decent casting. I don't know if I'd recommend people buying it, but if they are Maserati fans for toy cars for Hot Wheels and Matchbox, then you should definitely get this one. Next up, we have the recolor of the Pikes Peak Celica in this cool yellow color. Also with number one, but it has um, Penjala on the hood instead of the number. It says Penjala on each side. Um, and it has a um, black underbody that tells you the car and when it was released. Next up, we have this old Mercedes-Benz 500 sedan from Hot Wheels. Another great car that I got at Fastlane Classic Cars. Next one is the um, GMC Motorhome from Hot Wheels. Um, this is a really cool casting for um, any RV fans or GMC fans or General Motors toy car fans for Hot Wheels or Matchbox. I'd highly recommend getting this one. I'm not sure if they make any newer ones of this, but if they do, please let me know. That would be great. But this was only found at Fastlane Classic Cars. Next, we have the um, Mercedes wagon. Um, I'm not sure which wagon this is. Oh, geez, that is really bright. It's hard to see that. Anyways, it's an old Mercedes wagon from, like, late 90s, early 2000s. Um in this cool blue black color. Not a bad casting. I would recommend getting it. If I find another one, I would buy it. Next up is the Jaguar D-Type from Hot Wheels. Um, I know for sure that they've never made a new version of this car, so I believe this was found at Fastlane Classic Cars because it seems to be very old and I haven't seen any new ones, so I'm assuming this is where I got this one from. Next up, recolor of the Pikes Peak Toyota Tacoma Hill Climb car from um, Hot Wheels in this really cool red color. Um, the other one was um, white with um, yellow on the side. Next up, you're probably wondering, what in the world is this thing? It is actually a Peugeot 405 sedan from Hot Wheels from like late 80s or early 90s. Um, and probably same for the year of the toy car. Next up is the um, Mercedes-Benz CLK, CLK LM race car. Top speed of 225 miles per hour from a V8 engine. Don't recall how much horsepower it has, but it's a really cool casting. I would highly recommend buying this one. This is one of my favorites from Fastlane Classic Cars. I bought the Chaparral 2D. 420 horsepower from a V8 engine, and it looks similar to a seven, late 70s Corvette but it's actually faster than the Corvettes at the time. Next up, we have this Mercedes-Benz GLK SUV. This is not from Hot Wheels or Matchbox, it's from um, Maisto. Really cool. I'd recommend buying it. Next up, we have the Ford GT90. This is a V12 engine car from the late 90s or early 2000s that had a top speed of 235 miles per hour. Next up is the um, Hot Wheels Camaro race car from the late 90s. V8 engine, probably close to 7 or 800 horsepower. I'd recommend buying this again whenever I go to Fastlane Classic Cars. This is the Riley and Scott Le Mans race car from like early 2000s. From Hot Wheels also, by the way. Um, and the last car is the um, 1940s or 50s Chevrolet Fleetline Hot Wheels toy car with this really cool snowflake-like stuff on here. Um, if you're wondering which is my favorite toy car from Fastlane Classic Cars I've bought over the past few years, I'd probably say it's a it's a tie between it's going to be a tie between these two right here. That's going to be the end of this showcase video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel to be on the lookout for more toy car showcase and unboxing videos. Bye.